I bow unto you all and I hope we are in the last session of this beautiful chapter number three. That's going to be video number seven. Grade six cities and science subject. Water as a natural resources and we will talk about water pollution today. That's an important thing what you will learn in this session. Yes. What is water pollution you will understand and then after that how the water pollution caused. And who is causing that water pollution? Let's get into this subject and identify what is water pollution and how the water pollution caused. Now look at this picture. That water looks very, very dirty, isn't it? Now, there are some water bodies with different types of waste materials, bad smell and decolorization. Now have you ever gone through any places where you find these kinds of water with lot of waste materials and that's giving bad smell and decolorization also? Now look at this. What is water pollution? Now let's understand what is water pollution. Now if you see this particular particular water you think that I can't drink yes and you cannot bath also and that's waste am I right will you bath from that water I don't think so so addition of waste materials to water till it becomes unsuitable now this one is unsuitable for consumption right that is known as water pollution now water pollution is addition of waste materials to water till it becomes unsuitable for consumption. That is known as water pollution. If you are excessively adding waste materials to water one stage, that water is getting to a state where you can't use that water. That time, that water is polluted. Now you understood what is water pollution. Now, look at that. Even though there is only about 0.01% of water suitable for consumption, due to unawareness and carelessness of people, this limited amount of water is getting polluted day by day. That is super true. So people are not taking any care of it. Now prepare a report about the human activities that cause water pollution. Now you can definitely after learning this, you can make a beautiful report about the human activities that is causing water pollution. Let's see that one now. Some methods of water pollution. Do you know what is happening here? Additional of agrochemical and chemicals. Now the farmers what they do is they are using chemicals to their agricultural land. Mm -hmm. And then after that they will throw that bottles to that water and also their waste water will washed to this particular stream and people will consume this water and they will become sick. So addition of agrochemicals and chemical is a dangerous thing that farmers doing. Now the next one is about addition of polythene and plastic to water bodies. Now most of the people they don't take care of it but how many polythene wastage is there in front of you in this picture? Now people are throwing polythene and plastic to water bodies that is also causing water pollution that's number two another way is this that's very dangerous releasing of chemicals and impure water from factories when there are factories factories what they will do they will do chemicals they will use chemical i'm sorry they will use chemical and they will also you know divert the waste impure water to the water bodies releasing of chemicals and impure water from factories to these kinds of you know that particular tube is definitely taking some dirty oily water from a factory to this beautiful stream because of that the living being inside habitat of this water the fish is also getting disturbed and the people who are consuming that water also getting disturbed and one more thing releasing of waste materials and impure water to water bodies by us. Most of the people living in the metropolitan cities, they do this mistake. What they do is, they don't take care of anything. They've just released the waste material to where? Impure and waste material to the water bodies like streams and sea or anywhere. That is also 
definitely a bad thing. See what this gentleman is doing? Washing and bathing in water bodies. This is a very bad thing he's doing. When he's washing and bathing like that, he's only one person. But so many people washing and bathing, the chemicals, the shampoo, the soap, whatever he's using is getting added to that stream of river and it is getting polluted also. So, some method of water pollution we came to know additional of agrochemicals and chemicals and releasing of chemicals and impure water from factories, washing and bathing in water bodies, releasing of waste materials and impure water to water bodies and finally addition of polythene and plastic to water bodies. That's a dangerous thing. So, you know how the methods and what are some methods that water is getting polluted after learning this. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, Pollution of surface water affects ground water also because the surface water when it is getting damaged, see the ground water is connected also. When people are taking ground water, the ground water is going to be contaminated. So the poisonous chemical in the surface water are added to the ground water also ultimately. Now when you have a well like this, as ground water is used to drink, these poisonous chemicals enter the human body. Now you know you don't know how much of chemicals there are in this well which is coming from the groundwater, right? If you are adding chemicals and things to the streams like this, this will also get polluted. So this causes many serious illnesses such as cancers, kidney failure, etc. So precautions should be taken as soon as possible to prevent water pollution. You must take care of the water and you shouldn't, you shouldn't waste the water. Otherwise, we will also lose the limited amount of water that is suitable for consumption. That 0.01% of water also will get damaged and we will not have enough water to drink. Taking necessary step to stop water pollution is a timely needed one. So, we came to know about what is water pollution and what we shouldn't do as well. So now you know what is water pollution and how the water pollution caused. Also, you learned that what you shouldn't do as well. Now you can advise anyone about water pollution. That's all from the chapter. The total chapter is coming to an end and the session is over. I'm going to meet you in another beautiful chapter number four. Until then, bye-bye, take care of yourself.